What is it that gives your life a sense of meaning and purpose? See, if you know what your life work is, I encourage you to start working on it. If you don't know what it is that you showed up to do, if you don't know why you're here, I encourage you to find out what your purpose is here. What is the meaning of your life? It's going to be very challenging. It's going to require a lot of work on your part. An ongoing process of personal and professional self-mastery. A lot of people become comfortable. They stop growing. They stop wanting anything. They, they become satisfied. That's where a lot of people get stuck. Because see, when you don't feel worthy of your goal, you will begin to unconsciously engage in self-destructive behavior, like procrastinating, constantly putting things off. If you want to be an anomaly, you have to act like one. Like people want all these special things to happen, but then they're acting like everybody else. Overall journey is arduous and long and difficult. You've got to begin to take a look at your life and look at where are you right now? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What gives your life a sense of fulfillment, a sense of joy? What does a full, rich life mean to you? What is it that you could love doing seven days a week that will bring a smile to your face? Life is too short trying to play it safe. It's too short and unpredictable being miserable. It's too short for that. You've got to be bold in life. You've got to take life on. Begin to look at yourself and say, hey, look here. I know I have not done all that I can do. Whatever goal that you have in mind, I want that to be a goal that will challenge you. Something that will make you stretch. You must be positive. See, a lot of people, when things don't happen when they want it, want it to happen, they become negative and they turn out and start projecting a lot of negative energy. So what do you want to be? You want to be okay as you are? Or do you want to strive towards what's better? Life is like a roller coaster. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go well, and sometimes they don't go well. But in the down moments, that's when you discover who you are. You've got to find some reasons that make you strong. Why is it that you deserve your goal? What are the five reasons that you won't give up when life catch you on the blind side? When the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game when life knocks you to the canvas? What reason can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? Find that reason. And see, you don't want to be on the bottom. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you, ladies and gentlemen. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. Sometimes I have to pull myself out of bed and say, come on, Les. You're way more than you think, man. Stand up, do something difficult. Do something difficult and heroic. You, you the people have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You the people have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. You've got to redefine yourself. Who are you right now? And who must you become in order to create what you want? What has to change about you? Unless you change the way you're thinking, unless you change your behavior, you're gonna to continue to produce the results in your life. See, all, you've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams, yes to your unfolding future, yes to your potential. The future is unlimited for you right now. What kind of legacy do I want to leave? What kind of statement do you want to make with your life? What three things you want said when you die? But if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for, to work day and night for, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after this thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if dogged and grim you besiege and beset it, with the help of God you're given.